Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. I know everybody's tired. Everybody's running for something somewhere. Well, here, we're not running for anything. We're talking about the existing system, you know what I mean? And that existing system is what's affecting you now, not what the new people are thinking about doing it. But we have Darlene Brown here, and we're going to talk about finance. A lot of people don't realize how important finance is, but all of us, I don't care who we are, are a victim. Somewhere down the line, if it's no more than your our credit card, if it's no more than your home, okay, most of you are indebted two items, home and a car, right? Have you ever thought about, say, hey, look, how do I get into the economics of this country? How do you got it? You got to be an entrepreneur. What's an entrepreneur? That's what's happening with the country today. You got 3%, do you realize, 3% of the people in this country control all the money. Hey, where's my shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, that's the first thing you're going to say, 3%. That's right. You have uh, uh, different individuals that uh, are incorporated and everything that's involved. The inspiration that it takes to get in the business world is not easy. I've been out here about 30-some years, and I've seen it. I've been involved in the media aspect, and the media does a lousy job, so don't rely on the media, you know, for information. What you want to do is do your own homework. That's what I try to tell people in voting. It's because Aunt Susie and Uncle John, uh, they may not have the information that you have or that you want. So that's what you have to do. you got to be educated along the financial line. Well, I took some of Darlene's time <laughs> there on the introduction, but I just wanted to emphasize how important, and this is a crucial time because we're getting ready to change presidency, you see. And this is, and then we have a young man who'll be coming on that wants to be inspired to get involved in the economics of this country, and not just this country, this world. Absolutely. Darlene. Hi, hey. how are you? Okay, how you doing? I, I guess am you, doing you, well, you say very Ed well. Brown. I said, what is this guy doing? He's taking up my time. It's I'm okay, done. it's but, okay. Uh, the, the idea is that um, I'm always interested, and in, I've been in, involved in Prince George County about 30-some years in different aspects in the, in the government, private industry, yes. so uh, I know how difficult it is. And with so many uh, projects are coming into the area, specifically Prince right. George County, the hospital, uh, possibly the uh, FBI. Uh, it, this is a time to, to be ready, the opportunity for the young people that's to right. get into the economics of this country because that's, that is the key. The laws, hey, they've had equal rights and real estate and all civil rights and all that stuff. And it's been, hey, it's been 50, 60 years and you still, you still have neighborhood uh, uh, problems. You still have a segregation. You still, yes. it, it, uh, I mean, you can go in uh, fast food now in the front door and <laughs> see us, that type of thing. But as far as being selected or being considered, uh, in the CEO, CEO level of employment. And if you can't get into that, then you get involved in business yourself. What do you think about that, darling? Well, I think it's, it's very important uh, for people to educate themselves and to understand that the world we live in has drastically changed. Uh, there was a time where you were told to go to school, get a good education, and get a good government job good by job. your home, and you could retire on that. <laughs> but as we have seen in the last few decades, um, that is no longer a reality for many. And as a result, our generations that are coming today and those that will come after understand that in order for them to have economic stability for their own lives, for their family's life, and to really position themselves to leave a legacy, they have to move into entrepreneurship. 
Owning your business is not foreign uh, to people of color, as we know if you do the history. Uh, there was a time where we all owned our own business and we supported each other in those businesses, right? Uh, we could talk about the Black Wall Street, where we had black doctors and black lawyers and black grocery stores and we had black farmers. And we, within those ranks, supported each other and our dollars actually circulated, allowing us to have economic strength and empowerment. And we know that that has changed today. We know that the dollar does not stay within the black community, I don't think, more than what? 60 half a second. <laughs> half a second? I was going to say six seconds. And that's, that's very important that we need to understand. And so becoming a business owner is not just to position yourself to have economic stability, but it is also for you to understand the services that you can provide within your community and the products so that we can begin to educate ourselves on the power of our economic strength and unity and to allow our dollars to be circulated with other black business owners because when we do that, we position ourselves as a population of people to compete the global market, right? Right. And so I think, think that business ownership, I'm a business owner, and I think it is very important to educate yourself on owning a business. I know I came from a population of, at a time where people would say, well, you know, they bake cakes, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe they know how to cook and you could always go and get a good Sunday meal. Mm -hmm. And I always say you have these great creative abilities, but you never thought about how you could formulate a solid business plan with the right plan, you could take that thing that you're really great at doing and you can turn it into a business. Right. You have to start where you're at, you have to educate yourself, and you have to have the courage to know that you can make a difference in your own economic stability. And see, really, that has to be sold just like uh, the idea of uh, the, so when I was coming up, you know, not get a nine to five, government job, you know, and everything. Well, see, that's antique now. Uh, uh, really, what you have to do, you have to get, back then they had their own economy. This is what a lot of people don't realize is that uh, the, uh, there were more African-American business back doing segregation yes. than, than it is now. That's right. Uh, right now, uh, it's, been, it's been swallowed up. Everybody wants to be involved in the total picture, but you're not involved in the total picture unless you're in the economic aspects of it at the top. That's right. <laughs> right. Right. Because if you're not there, then what you're doing, you're supporting the system, but you're not benefiting from the system. Now, you have an area here which a lot of people take for granted. It's pretty, as far as the economics, it's pretty you know, high, as they say, high on all. But what do you say? Here, the idea is that uh, individual, they, they feel that feel a limitation. Once I get a home and a car, then hey, that's the end of it. But that is not. That is only the beginning because what happens is those dollars, how many of you out there own your own business? I don't see any <laughs> hands there. How many out there are involved in businesses that you utilize every day? I think all of you go to the grocery store, right? right. Hey, right. you there, drugstore, and all these different commodities that That's are right. being, that you're using, but you're not getting the benefit from it. Uh, with all the margin and things that they've done for 20, 30 years, uh, I, I don't see a, a real economic gain. And uh, like I said, is that, hey, you look, huh, in, in this area there, how many, how many uh, African-American car dealerships do you have? Right. Well, I definitely see that there is a need for more uh, business owners and entrepreneurs. Uh, and I also believe that it's important that you align yourself with a mentor, someone that is successful. Right. I have a, a great mentor, Dr. George C. Fraser, who is an author and great businessman. He mm -hmm. published a book entitled uh, Success Runs in Our Race. 
And he has the Power Networking Conference, and the Power Networking Conference is coming here to Prince George's County for the very first time You're after kidding. 15 years. Yes, it will be at the Gaylord Hotel at the National Harbor, Gaylord. May 25th. Oh, wow. May 25th through the 28th. What I love about the Power Networking Conference, it comprises a place where black business owners come from all over the nation together mm -hmm. to not only learn about financial literacy, about investments, and different aspects of business ownership, stocks and bonds, understanding how this country really is sustained from an economic perspective. So you are in a space where you are being trained, but more importantly, you are in a space with other business owners where you have the opportunity to network so that you can now understand when there is a service or product that you need, there is then a black business owner that you can actually support. And you have the opportunity to share your business and what you do, your services and products, so that when they need those service and products, they can then support you. Mm -hmm. This is uh, really important because this is how we begin mm -hmm. to utilize each other's businesses, thereby supporting black business ownership not only that allowing our dollars to circulate within our community within black business owners it's very important and i think having a mentor someone that is successful that has you know survived 40 50 yes, years right. Of, of understanding how the dynamics of this country has changed and has been able to matriculate some very real success in business, it's important for us to align ourselves. I call it sitting at the feet of those who have come before so that you can learn mm -hmm. and also so that you can follow in their footsteps in terms of understanding how to navigate the business terrain of this country. Mm -hmm. And, and w we have to always remember, too, you have to get involved. Uh, I, I, a lot of people, you know, I was really embarrassed in uh, a couple of elections back here, 67% uh, of the uh, people in Prince George County did not vote. That's, that's the first that's step. That's terrible. That, that, that is, although they uh, um, pat yourself on the back about the economics of uh, the physical aspects of having a two-car garage and uh, uh, half a million dollar homes uh, anytime uh, and see your your system looks at that if you're a non-voting group and right. what 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 makes what makes people understand and respect you is the fact that uh, you have an organization and your organization represents money and see this yes. look at the influence say it's uh, a lot of people maybe they are frown on it well the mafia has an influence on That's the economy right. the different groups the hey national rifle association right. has an influence on the different things that happen in this country. And what you have to realize, you can't go home and just sit back because each state, that's why I stress the point that, hey, look, what you have to do is what you got to get involved in the political system. There's no excuse for not voting. I don't care who you are, none at all. And hey, once again, Tell us quickly when that conference is going to be. The Does Power Networking Conference will be held May 25th through the 28th at the Gaylord Hotel at the National Harbor, Maryland. Uh, it is in its 16th year here in Prince George's County for the first time and will remain here in Prince George's County for the next seven years. We're very excited about that as we know that it will have great impact. This is a voting year. It is important for people not only to understand the political system, but mm -hmm. understand business ownership and economics and how that plays into that system. Excellent. I couldn't have said it any better. Mm -hmm. I want to say, Darlene, I want to thank you for being here. And just like I said, we had a young man coming in, yes. a mentor, and this is a great example. And here he is able to get and get involved physically in an organization and realize that, hey, what you have to, re finance is very important. And you have to, like Darlene told me, you got to be exposed to it. That's you know right. what I mean? Don't, don't get wrapped up in the charge card and all of those things. Build yourself a business. I'll see you in a second. I'll have that young man on.
hey, you know what we had? We, we, we talked about business. We talked about a very important thing, getting involved in the economics of this country. And that's what young people, we had Christopher McDaniel. He's here, and he's brought here by Edwina Larkin. She's one of the outstanding teachers in Prince George County and has been working for years in Prince George County with the young people. And this young man here, he's going to tell us a little about what he's trying to do. Yes, tell sir. us, Christopher. Yes, sir. So what I did was I founded an organization called At Perfection Mobile Hair Care Service Incorporated. Uh, we have a Grooming for Success initiative where we groom the youth as well as older individuals. Is that the shirt yes, you have that's on? The, that's the call Deserve action. to be groomed for success. Yes, everyone deserves to be groomed for success. Mentally, yeah. Where's mine? I got yours, <laughs> right in the lobby. <laughs> okay. Everyone deserves to have that opportunity to be groomed for success. And I use my gift, uh, cutting hair, to share with others and transform their lives. Mm -hmm. I, I believe if you look good, you feel good. And if you feel good, you do great. So with my position in the community, it's my job not just to take money from you, but actually to deposit some positive information to you, as well as resources. So that's what we look to do. We look to partner with other barbershops, mm -hmm. have them become mentors to the youth, not just barbers, but mentors, mm -hmm. and educate the youth that lack fathers. Yeah, because everybody needs a haircut sometime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care who you are, you, even if you had a beard. <laughs> yes, sir. You come, you come to that barbershop. <laughs> you have to come there. To, and, and being, getting an exposure or getting into, when, when I talk about, uh, you have to start somewhere, but getting into the corporate world. Every place that I know has a barber shop and a beauty shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And a place that has come in Prince George County, which I am elated to hear about, that uh, uh, Darlene Brown was talking about, will be right here at National Harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this is a golden opportunity for you to get your group together and and with Mrs. Brown there oh, yeah. and at 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 Wana and 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 get the group ready so when they hit Prince George County you guys will be right on top yes know? sir and and you'll be able to meet uh, individuals that have been through some of the things that young people uh, have to go through, and in the business, man, you're going to have years that of no success. Oh, you know? yeah. and then, but that's, and how to get over those hurdles. See, that's the major item, and one of the major, <laughs> major hurdle is money. You know, yes. an organization, what, what's happening now is the, what's the Chinese there, uh, and the, I think the Egyptians, all of them, they're coming over, and they're utilizing uh, the opportunities we have in this country mm -hmm. for themselves. The uh, banks and things of that nature, uh, they're bringing information in concerning starting businesses here. Yeah. And you young people, you're already here. This is your opportunity. And with the political, make sure, uh, you know, young people think in terms of things come automatic, but make sure you get into the voting system. Right. First thing I want to know is when you are recruiting, the, uh, you're mentoring, make sure everybody is registered to vote. Mm -hmm. They know who their uh, uh, congressman is. They know who their uh, county exec is. Right. They know, oh, and they know who the uh, head of the civic association. Yes, sir. Because those uh, avenues are very important. A good example was Today is excellent example for you. You never would have met Darlene Brown yeah. if it wasn't for communication. Yep. You see what I mean? And the communication didn't just come from me. It came from Edwana Larkin, and then Edwana Larkin passed it on to me, and I'm passing it on to uh, Darlene. Mm -hmm. So you can see how important it is as far as communication. And Getting, getting into the political system is, is a great idea because what you want to do, that political system, you, you have individuals that they're going to select a, a president and a vice president. And actually, what you want, you don't want to depend on somebody else to give you the information about another person that's going to make decisions right. for you. 
Correct. So the word is, and it's an old-fashioned word now. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, the uh, iPhone and the <laughs> emails and all that. It, homework. Mm -hmm. That's that that is that is the key. Is that you have to do your homework. Don't because your brother or, or your sister or your mother or somebody uh, I said, well, I like I like so and so because uh, she uh, I like the way she walks or or, uh, or or I like the way he talks or something. You don't vote that way. Right. You know, what you do, you go out and get your homework about anyone. A good example that's going on, and I have to mention this, here you have a young man there up in New York that's running for president of the you know what party, and, and uh, he has uh, selected uh, uh, another young man, and wh what happened is that uh, both of them were involved in uh, situations concerning money. You know, I mean, where in, in the city, uh, it, this is New Jersey, Atlantic City, okay, and they have, have anyone seen the order for the uh, so-called Republican candidate? He, he has an order for his taxes, mm. and, but no one has, I noticed, no one has pushed for this order of the Republican candidate uh, taxes. And then the New York, uh, uh, um, what is it, uh, Wall Street Journal. And this happened today. They said they're talking about these two individuals are running for president of the United States. They're involved in the uh, problems with the casinos in Atlantic City. Atlantic City is about to go bust, but nobody's talking about that. And everybody knew this individual. He was the number one man as far as uh, uh, gambling is concerned in this country. A lot of people, they don't do their homework because it was right in Wall Street Journal. Here, individual, he's running for the top office and uh, he, he was asked, oh, I, I guess maybe five or six months ago, said, let's see your income tax. If it was you, they'd drag you out and make sure you show your income tax. But he has not showed his income tax. And then he has another individual that's going to be his right-hand man that's involved in it to the fact that the city, well, most people, know, maybe you're not old enough, but the Atlantic City is going busted. And these are financial empires that, here we're going to turn over. All this comes from doing your own mm -hmm. homework. Mm -hmm. you know, we're going to turn this, our great country, over to individuals that have financial problems like that. And I just use that as an example for young people to, hey, get involved in the system. Get involved in the system. Don't let anyone, you do your homework. And the individuals, whether they're running for the dog catcher or working for Civic Association or whatever, what you want to do is get involved in the system. Definitely. So now, what a, this, this this group right quickly mm -hmm. now? Uh, how, how do you qualify? You got to be a barber. Or, you don't have to be a barber to belong, right? No. The, okay. What we look for is individuals who utilize their gifts to encourage and uplift others. Uh, so I partner with as you speak on um, elections and voting. Uh, there's some youth out there um, under an organization called Black Youth Vote, where we are partnered up and we're. What, what do they call it? Black Youth Vote. Black youth vote. Black youth vote, yes. And they're, right. they're educating um, younger individuals as well as just older people on the process of voting and getting our numbers up as far as for black males. Because if we come together and we actually vote, we do create leverage. Mm -hmm. And with right. leverage, we could pass policies. Right. So that's what and, we're going to do. And all of that leads to finance. Yep. See, because you control the uh, requirements for a certain b position. Uh, what, what we're doing we're, for young people, mm -hmm. uh, especially the male, we're looking for positions on a CEO level. I'm mm -hmm. thinking of the, of the uh, uh, future. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can do that, you got to prepare the young people, make them start thinking yes. financially. Yes. You know, where they can really get something, what, bucks for the money, your investment. Mm -hmm. What is the investment? Investment is something that you... Take a chance on to try to make money. 
Yeah. Uh, what is nine, nine to five? Hey, if you don't go to work nine to five, you don't get paid, right? Mm -hmm. You have to get that mentality in that if you're making money off of my money, why can't I make money off of your money? Yes, sir. But what's happening is that 3% of the, of the people in the United States control most of the money. Yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah. That's ridiculous. But that's true. That's why it's difficult and policies and all of that. You can, what do you think? Tell me, what do you think this election coming up? Ah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tricky one um, mm -hmm. as far as the people that are running. Um, I think a lot of people are voting based off of, I wouldn't say the educational mm -hmm. aspect of it, because if a track record for these uh, candidates would tell it all. I mean, mm -hmm. if it's not consistent, you know, you're running the risk of going and electing somebody who is not going to follow through with what they said. Mm -hmm. So, as you said, group economics and developing our core, we can push for anything we want. And it doesn't have to be on the state level, but the local level. We need to control the local government, and then it can move on to the, the national and federal level. So, you know, it's the people that are in the candidates right now, they aren't the ones that I would choose personally. Mm -hmm. However, that's what we have. So with what we have, we need to make the right decision. Well, I, I think your, your theme, uh, uh, everyone deserves to be groomed for success. Yes, sir. That's beautiful. And this is what the young people out there, this is in terms where you start thinking about. Don't worry about getting involved with the uh, group, you know, the peer pressure, because see, they're going to call you all kinds of names. I know when I was going to school, they say, here come the Square Brothers. And, you know, they call them Brothers of the Sky because we didn't. We didn't fit into uh, what they were didn't doing. fit into the peer thing. But all the young ladies and young men out there, you want to get involved with. Uh, uh, Christopher here, and you can get involved with Christopher through this organization and all, on through Darlene Brown, who was on the show here. I mean, she's on the right track, and she's bringing an organization into Prince George County at the correct time, because we have some major pro projects coming in, and we don't want the jobs on the bottom. We want the CEO jobs. You know, we're thinking, and we're going to prepare the young people to move into that area of the CEO position. And what you have to do, you have, sure you have to sacrifice. So you know, you, you're not accepted by the group or something. They call you. So what? Uh, what you want to do is get involved with Christopher here and also uh, uh, Charlene. And uh, when this group comes in for getting involved financially in Prince George's County in this area here, I want to see all of you out there. Okay, this has been Ed Brown. Once again, thanks a lot. And like I say, deserve to be, everyone deserves to be groomed for success. I mean, that's, 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 that's not a, a given thing. That's something that you have to earn, you know. We're not going to give you anything. You've got to prepare yourself for it. Sir. Okay, this has been Ed Brown. And don't forget, look out for that organization. It's going to be down in National Harbor. It's going to involve the young people getting into the economy of this country. See you next time.